Okay, thank you very much for the invitation. And um, yeah, this topic of um, alternative uh, economy, uh, for, for our experience uh, uh, from this uh, Macau um, case in Milan, uh, that is very connected with uh, cultural production, because it's uh, basically uh, an experiment of uh, a different way to manage the cultural production. And so um, I would like to pose uh, like uh, any hypothesis right now about the future of culture. And um, in my opinion, uh, uh, probably uh, there is a, a main uh, strategic sh scenario in order to invent uh, new modes of production uh, deeply rooted uh, in the integration of two different components, just to give uh, an hypothesis. Huh? And for me, are uh, demo democratic participation on one side and technological innovation. So, how to connect these two poles? And um, so, if uh, th this could be the case, I would like immediately to put forward a, a fundamental question. Can the capital produced by the social cooperation being uh, economically sustainable by means of new forms of self-organization? And again, this being likely an hypothesis, uh, we want to discuss forward what kind of forms uh, is going to take uh, this, this production. Or, on the contrary, we face uh, a primary risk uh, in our discussion. Creativity, innovation, participation, cooperation, what we call new technologies, are nothing more than new keywords which stands for simulacra of old methods of business plan created in order to manage new right-wing governments and governance and also gentrification process. This kind of uh, keywords, participation, creativity, um, new technology, smart city, for example in Milan, are really the, 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 the main treasure for center and right-wing governance right now. Also this biennial maybe is not outside this, 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 this issue. So, In a future in, in which machine, the, dig, the digital and physical automation of the production will substitute a lot of work once experienced by humans, how we will can have a spending power? In the past, wealth was redistributed usually through salary and wage. Significantly, the salary was also the main point around which workers' struggles and unions' demands were constructed. But what happens whether in the future the wage relation is not anymore such central model? So, around in 2008, Knowing that financial market, uh, the production system, uh, and the control uh, uh, exercised uh, over every single life is defined uh, more and more by the synergy of all these algorithmic machine, a group of hackers and activists uh, full of open, sources, uh, open source culture and mostly anarchist and anti-systemic, uh, developed a protocol uh, under the name of Bitcoin. And uh, their line of thought appeared to be rather linear. Since capital accumulated uh, value 
through the control of information over our behavior, we should construct a technological infrastructure in which uh, there is no central accumulation property, there is no traceability of the profit, and um, everything is guaranteed by computers working in synergy. So Bitcoin uh, therefore creates uh, an infrastructure on a global <coughs> scale which reinvent the currency in a decentralized way, peer-to-peer -peer and anonymous. The success of uh, this operation was really very huge. No need uh, for a central bank uh, to fix uh, the value of our labor or of what um, that we buy and sell. Bitcoin is doubtless uh, the largest operation in recent years, uh, under uh, undermining the rules uh, of the capital forms uh, uh, from, uh, of the capital from uh, the point of view of the infrastructure. Several are the pro and cons. Many of the analyses uh, that we can make, but to go a little forward in this uh, science fiction story, I try to split between uh, two aspects of Bitcoin, the good and the bad. The good one is that this decentralization of the service by means of a peer-to-peer -peer network. This makes sure that there will be no concentration of power in one monopoly and allowed an extremely simplified and unbureaucratic function. The bad one, Bitcoin is based on a computing power. The way to implement the issuing of the currency called mining and the way to authenticate every transaction is based upon the use of calcu calculators spread around the world, causing a significant expenditure of energy. Beyond to uh, easy ecological concern, the currency base, um, bases uh, its value on uh, the automation of the computing machine. This has to be discussed. But uh, I want to point out that in terms of uh, infrastructure, Bitcoin uh, has been really a revolution. And uh, for example, an expert inside Bitcoin uh, called blockchain is now even more important uh, than uh, the cryptocurrency aspect. And um, a lot of uh, uh, projects uh, also present here, like uh, Descent or uh, Faircoin, uh, or also um, this uh, Robin Hood Minor Asset Management project we are working with, uh, uh, they are really uh, uh, investing in this kind of infrastructure aspect in order to provide power to the commons. So, uh, in this moment, uh, uh, what we are doing? Uh, we knew for this aspect one year uh, um, ago uh, the decent uh, project that are not uh, conceiving, maybe Marco is going to explain better, um, they are not conceiving uh, a cryptocurrency, but they are conceiving uh, tools for community in order to develop uh, this kind of uh, infrastructure for the, their whole needs, okay? <coughs> and um, uh, for the cultural production, Macau in the next month uh, is going to present uh, like a platform to manage uh, the cultural production with uh, uh, a cryptocurrency, we are going to call it a common coin, and different tools uh, in order to um, uh, have uh, the power of uh, a digital uh, structure in order to support uh, our uh, uh, production in uh, an, a, a, a political and democratic uh, power uh, owned by the community of users of, uh, of uh, um, um, uh, from the bottom. So, just to just to, to, to show you the, the map of common coin, we are uh, cutting out uh, this proof of work by the Bitcoin 
and uh, we are trying to understand how to uh, manage a lot of policies inscripted in uh, the cryptocurrency by the community, by the activists or the community of workers, uh, in order to uh, collectively, um, um, commonly decide which kind of uh, um, design, and so, uh, remembering also Federica's speech of uh, before, which kind of value we want to give uh, to the inf economical infrastructure that uh, is governing our relationship. So this is, uh, I think, a central topic, a, sem a central issue. Um, so just the conclusion. Um, I think so. The fundamental challenge around sharing economy and technological innovation lays, I think, in the attempt to avoid these two extreme points. On one side, to let the algorithm to privatize, like, uh, for example, uh, Uber, Amazon, Apple, uh, Airbnb, etc. And on the opposite side, uh, to conceive algorithms uh, completely autonomous uh, in which political decisions dissolve in a computing uh, power and uh, anarcho-capitalism. So the political challenge uh, right now we are facing uh, will uh, therefore reside in binding algorithms to democratic decisional approaches uh, in ways that are dynamic and common at the same time. So, thank you.